Okay, so good morning. Um, welcome back to the channel. I'm doing a quick unboxing here of the Micro Tick Hap. Uh, so this is a Hap Light LTE. Um, LTE 6, Hap AX Light LTE 6. Um, ordered this yesterday, it arrived today. And it is going into my car. So at the moment, I currently use a neck here. So one of these, so it's called a Nighthawk M1. Um, it's got a Gomo SIM in here, uh, specifically the Nighthawk M1. It's an MR 1100 100. Um, powered by USB C. It's got a single USB port and it's got a single gigabit Ethernet port as well. Now, for the last whatever many years, this has been sitting in the boot of the car, hence the battery removed. Um, so, it, when the car starts, um, I have a battery bank running my camera. So, when the car starts, the battery bank starts charging and then it runs this on my camera and then up to 8 10 hours after running the car depending on how long i've been running it for the battery then keeps this plus the camera in the car the dash cam in the car running um, and it allows me to monitor the car and see where it is no matter where where i am and i can watch it on video this works brilliantly the only issue with it is there's no easy vpn options and remote management or anything like that I did try put a Raspberry Pi in the car at one stage and that worked for a while but it's just a bit cumbersome and extra thing to manage everything else. So my plan is to replace it with this, the HAP LTE, HAP AX LTE, uh, LTE 6. So in theory these two should be somewhat similar speed wise on the LTE side of things, I think about LTE 6. So you've got a manual, you've got a more different manual. You have ah, you have the actual hub itself and you have a power plug. So it's actually European power plug. But the important part is USB C as the input. So this I'm going to ignore, just assuming what kind of power output is this actually. There it is there. So this outputs 5 volts at 2.4 milliamps, so 12 watt charger, or 12 watt output. So I have plenty of 12 watt, or 12 watt outputs in the car. Um, so I won't be needing that given that it's talking to the wrong it's talking around language anyway so let's have a quick look at this thing so we do the peel we're right, gonna have to do this one-handed that didn't work as well it, it worked but not brilliantly let's try the other one that made a different noise and weirdly one side of this is a different color to the other. One side is white, one side is grey. And we have another PB. Do hickey. Oh, it's a long peel. Okay, so that's the peels done anyway. So on the bottom we have details. Just details about this. On the side we have four gigabit ports. One is marked WAN, or well, one is marked internet, and the other three are LAN. It's the HAP AX Lite. We have a SIM card slot. We have a reset switch. We have two buttons, and we have a USB input. And on the back, we have nothing on the top. We have a button labeled mode. Don't know what that means. On 
and that's basically it. So we have a place for a SIM card. And, um, yeah. There we go. It's not very, uh, okay, so compared to, uh, so I've just put my finger on front of the, the battery, or the camera. So it is a bit bigger than the Netgear. So it's a bit taller. It's about the same width, a little bit, maybe not as as deep, or not as, as wide. It is thicker than the neck here. It's definitely taller. But it's not much in the difference in weight. Now this had, well, this with a battery probably weighs more. This has the advantage of you can put a battery into this and use this. That being said, there's nothing stopping you grabbing a power bank, an external power bank, and using that with this. So, anyway. So my plan for this is I'm going to take the SIM card that's in here and plug it into here. Get this hooked up. And this is then going to copy, I'm going to copy my whatever it is. Um... I'm gonna copy the config, the web config, or the uh, SSID from this one into this one. Um, and then this is gonna live in the car. Uh, I'm gonna install zero tier on this so I can connect to it remotely. Um, I can then manage it remotely and I can use it from wherever. And then if I'm then gonna play around with zero tier on this and see what I can get it to do. So, as I said, it was just going to be a quick unboxing. Um, I'm not going to do a video showing you how I set this up yet. I might do a video in a while showing you the final results of this. Um, but until then, like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, so um, just an amended amendment to that video. One of the things I wanted to check was... How much power the neck gear uses and a white gear tick uses. So first things first, so I've got this mad little USB power, a USB power adapter, which plugs in via well it's a USB C that plugs in. So I have rubbed the SIM card out of the neck gear already. So neck gear building takes about a watt of power. So five watt out or so uh, 5 volts, very little amps, so it goes up to 2, 3, around 2 watts on power delivery, and a 1, so, you now this will have no modems or anything else installed on it, so yeah, SIM card not installed, 1 watts, okay, so let's have a look and see what the MicroTik does, now actually in the interest of fairness, I have put the SIM card back into the neck gear. So I'm you now waiting for this to build up. So because obviously it's it, with the SIM card in, it's gonna make its connections to the Wi-Fi network, to the to the 4G networks, and it's going to then set up the Wi-Fi access points and everything else. So there it is, it's on GOMO, two to three watts of power. Um, and that's it, so it doesn't seem to be using an awful lot, so 2 or 3 watts of power, obviously there's nothing connected to it, there's no clients or anything like that, but um, that would be an idea, first build, 2 3 watts of power on the neck gear, let's have a look and see what the micro tick does, okay, There we have a problem. So, I'm using a standard, so I've got a USB power brick up there. And it's the same power delivery cable. And we've got the power there. And if I plug this in, nothing happens. Uh-oh. 
Magical blue smoke has not escaped, but nothing is happening. This is concerning. Okay, what kind of a power output do I need to get this to run on? Alright, you worry me. Aha! So, I've plugged it into my Caldigit TS4. So I've plugged it into one of the power, one of the USB-C ports on the front. And now, we have lights. I'm still only using about one to two watts of power. So it wasn't an output issue because that DMM doohickey that's up there, that's outputting a lot of power. That's that's charged iPads at 20 plus watts. So okay, so now we have flashy lights going on. So this is the full MicroTik um, boot process. It's gonna take a minute or two. We're now at three-ish, two to three watts. power and we have everything else so two watts three watts of power and then um, that's that's everything okay so about the same so obviously um when these are fully functional oh four up to four watts um so obviously when these are fully functioning these are going to use a bit more power but um yep so there, there we go. So as I said, just quick uh, add in to the video to explain that. So okay, good luck. Look, thanks. Oh, and by the way, there will be links to purchasing how to purchase these two in the uh, in the uh, comments section or in the description. No, comments, whatever the hell it's called, down below somewhere. Anyway, it'll be there. So okay, good luck. Thanks. Bye.